I greet you, Emmanuel. If God be with you, your nature. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Words of wisdom. Let's look at uh, our friend that have passed through this. The Bible Karata. Let's go to the book of Job. It's our friend. We are looking at his first step. How to handle the situation. Job 1 verse 21. And he said, that is Job. Naked I came from my mother's womb. Wow. <laughs> when you read that, it refer you to the first day when you were delivered. You say, ah, ah. If you are not crying, ah, ah they will give you a bit. Bah, bah. They want to know whether you are still there. Nobody actually came with uh, gold and silver. No matter what you are wearing now, no matter how beautiful or how you look. Naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked, shall I return there? Oh, no matter what they use on the last day to cover you, to do either gold, silver. By the time they just cover you with the dust and turn back. If care is not taking some people are coming to dig the ground <laughs> and carry the body. <laughs> if I'm talking to you, let's see your hand. This is what Job is telling you now, that naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. Oh, the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow, this means no one can be so poor as he was at birth. Tell your neighbor, no one can be so poor as he was at birth. Turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, you cannot be so poor as you was at birth. You say, oh, I'm poor. I'm this. I'm that. Remember how you came. And also remember how you return. When you have this in your heart, no matter the situation you are in, blessed be his holy name. The purpose of life is to glorify God in good times and hard times alike. The purpose of life is to glorify God in good times and hard times alike. Those who bless God in trouble prove their sonship. Yes, I'm a child of God. You must honor God before men. Prove your sonship that I'm a child of God. That you are seed does not make you an unbeliever. Tell your neighbor that you are sick. Does not make you an unbeliever. That you are poor does not make you an unbeliever. A man can be sick in body, yet be a friend of God. Don't let your situation mislead you. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. That Job 1 verse 21, I call it words of wisdom. It is never proper to base faith on our improvement after prayer. In the name of Jesus, heal me, heal me. And you are not receiving answer to your prayer, you say, because of my sin, oh, I'm not a believer. Satan is, you see that key now to destroy people's faith. See you? You have not received healing? Go to which doctor now? Go and see this spiritually. Don't, don't waste your time. You have not been coming to church yeah, because I'm not here. I'm still having the pain uh, because uh, my debt keeps increasing. So I cannot continue coming to church. It is never proper to base faith on our improvement after prayer. I know many of you have the belief that once you are sick, you are not a believer. But a man may be sick in body, 
yet a candidate of heaven. If a man is lying down on the seabed, at the end of the day, the man dies. It will be too soon for you to say he's going to hell. Because a man can be sick, yet a friend of God. If you know this, Satan cannot come near you. Devil wants you to curse God. Why on that pain? Tell your neighbor, devil want me to curse God. Why on that pain? I don't know what is wrong. Uh, I pay my tithe. I go to church regularly. This is my friend is a smoker. I know him. He never sick one day. This is my friend sleep in the club, clubhouse. He never one day have uh, contacted cancer or whatever. But me, I'm, I'm decent. I live right. I, I, I'm a Christian. I've been upright since I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Why this cancer? Devil wants you to curse God. Why under pain? Why under trouble? That is why the devil, what? Takes delight in inflicting pain on people. When he came to God, he said to God, you said Job is upright, is honest man. Tell me why Job will not be honest when you have blessed him with everything. He has children, he has money, he has good hair, and you are saying he's a good man. Tell me why he will not be good when he has everything. Allow me to touch him and see whether he will not change his confession. Tell your neighbor, devil wants you to curse God. Why under pain? I can't hear you. And the Lord said, okay, go ahead, but I will not give you his word. Christianity lying in the heart. Christianity lying in the heart because the Bible says faith is of man's heart. Those who bless God in trouble prove their sonship. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I am a child of God because business is booming. There is money in the pocket. Today, this is how we know a child of God. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. We know child of God when money is in the pocket. Tell your neighbor. The world turned upside down. Situation is now misleading people. People are being misled by war. But it's situation. When the going are good, you wear beautiful dress to church. People can know when the going is at all. Where are we going? The purpose of life is to glorify God in good times and hard times alike. Those who bless God in trouble, those who bless God in temptation, prove their sonship. God bless his way. Just a short summary that you are sick does not make you an unbeliever. Because a man may be sick, yet be a friend of God. That you are poor does not make you an unbeliever. Don't let your situation mislead you. Whatever situation you are facing, don't let your situation mislead you. Madam, that you are having difficulty to move. Yes. Yes. Does not make you an unbeliever. Amen. A man, a woman, may have difficulty in walking. Yes. Or fracture of the ankle. Yet be a friend of God. Yes. That you are buried 
does not make you an unbeliever. Yes, sir. A woman may bury it, yet be a friend Thank of you, God. Because in the past, before you come here, you were questioning your faith. Yes, daddy. Even you were looking at God in a bad light. Yes, daddy. Your situation has affected your faith. Yes, daddy. It's true, sir. Your situation has misled you. Yes, daddy. Sometimes I don't feel like to... Sometimes I don't feel like to go to the midst of people where they are praying because I don't know the value of it. In fact, it has pushed you to spiritualists and all of that. Daddy, I call it, sir. Thank you, sir. And which is not supposed to be. I think this is the first time you are hearing this message. Yes, sir. This is the first time you are hearing the message. Yes, sir. What is going on in your heart now with this message? What is going on in my heart now that I am okay and God has answered my prayer? Love for Jesus. This is what Satan had been using. The devil wants us to curse God. Why under pain, under sickness, under temptation, he wants us to begin to see God in a bad light. And you are supposed to honor him in that Situation. Devil wants us to curse God, to speak against God. Why under trouble? That is why the devil takes delight in inflicting pain on people. You are about to receive Mother of Miracle. Amen. If your miracle is being delayed, you are about to receive a Mother of Miracle. Amen. This is your first time you are hearing this message. Yes. Because of your situation, what was going through your mind? I was asking myself what I have done to the Lord because I have five years now. Can you imagine that? He said he was asking God, what have I done to you? And God is whom he says he is. He does not change. That is what devil wants. Devil wants us to curse God. Why under pain? That is why the devil takes delight in inflicting pain, inflicting poverty, inflicting sickness, Inflicting hardship on people. There are many on the sea there that have been rebuking God, asking God, God, what have I done to you? Those of you that are under the influence of this telecast, listen to me. God loves you. It is never, 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 never prosper to base faith on our improvement after prayer. So you have been praying for so long, asking God to heal you. Heal me, heal me, heal me, and you are not healed. Who knows if you were healed, what would have happened to you? God's time is the best. Amen. I say God's time is the best. Amen. Ask your neighbor, who knows if my prayer in the past had answered who knows what will have happened to me? If my prayer for healing, my prayer for breakthrough, my prayer for this, my prayer for that had been answered, who knows what will have happened to me? Whatever you are going through, so it may be to preserve you for the challenges ahead. It may be to stop you a while in order to re-prepare you. It may be to strengthen your desire for God. What situation you are facing today? Pleasure cannot do this. A time like this can do better. So, Viva Satom, I pray with you. I pray your faith will not fail. Amen. 
I pray your faith will not fail. In the face of that crisis, in the face of difficulty, because Satan wants you to curse God. Why on that pain? I pray your faith will not fail. This is the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I pray your faith will not fail. I pray your faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to say, blessed be his holy name. It's good time and hard time. Blessed be his holy name. In sickness, in good health, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name.